Hi everyone, uh, this is Ernest Boniface Makurilo uh, from EBM Scholars talking to you from Missouri in the United States. And in front of me here I have the book cover uh, which is my next project. The book title is PhD Scholarships for Africans in the United States. So as you can see this will be my next book. Uh, today is June 1st and I'm going to start writing today and uh, I'm hoping maybe I can finish within the next 30 days. So it will be not a very long book because it is specific for PhD. So it will be a very straightforward book. Uh, hopefully it will be not more than 100 pages. So I'm hoping within 30 days I'll be able to finish this one. Uh, the story behind why I'm writing particularly the PhD scholarships and specifically for Africans, uh, I have written two books on scholarships. One is a Swahili book, which is called Uda Aminu Gaibuni, uh, is a Swahili. So it is, technically you can say, uh, scholarships overseas. So this is a general book about how to get scholarships, steps and procedures. Then it was this. I published this on my birthday on September 23rd, 2017. And the last year in December, I published this one, True Memoirs of the Scholarship Guy. Uh, this one is more about uh, my journey on how I went through to apply and to get scholarships. So I shared those one, but also tricks on what you can do and what or can work for you and what cannot do work for you if you want to apply for scholarships. So, but this one it talks about a bachelor degree, masters and a PhD in a broad way. Uh, but I have been receiving a lot of questions uh, specifically uh, for applying and getting PhD uh, scholarships. So I want to have a specific uh, application and scholarship information because most of these uh, application for masters they are vastly different, especially when you are applying for PhD, and especially in there is a PhD in Europe and a PhD in the US. Uh, the PhD studying basing on thesis and basing on coursework and dissertation. So I think it will be better to have the case to create specifically book on PhD uh, scholarships, and I'm focusing more about Africans and specifically i will be focusing more about in america though in this book i'll be able to share some of the ways uh what is happening uh in europe uh or to do phd by thesis how to apply and how to go about it but this one i'll focus more about united states on how to apply and where can you get these scholarships and i'll also list scholarships or assistantships in the u.s which will be categorized in terms of uh, uh, programs like these are PhD in philosophy, PR, PhD in anthropology, PhD in different field, kind of that way. But the question many people uh, uh, will be asking: How are you able to write in just a book within uh, 30 days? Uh, it's just simple. If you can write three pages every single day, that means in 30 days you have 99 pages. Simple like that. But sometimes writing books can be challenging because it sometimes it depends on the mood. Sometimes you cannot write, sometimes you can write more pages, things of that nature. But recently I've been doing some dictation. I'm using uh, uh, the way I'll, I'll be recording the audio and the audio then it, it is going to type. So this is uh, some sort of dictation which helps me. It is not 100% but it helps me a lot now uh, on my previous book. Uh, which is in my previous book with this one which I published two days ago uh, half of it I did this book basing on this kind of dictation on Microsoft Word so I just talk with audio and then it types for me so what you do uh, on this one I come here and I click di dictate and then I'm starting talking and then it will be typing here so I want to give you the demonstration what I'll be doing uh, I have a problem uh, I don't want to talk like uh, to put all punctuation marks at the time I'm talking because it is kind of awkward situation to start saying uh, for instance my name is Ernest 
period i like playing soccer comma do so if you talk that way with all question mark and everything it sometimes it's just it for me it takes out the flow so sometimes i put just a period or sometimes i just talk randomly and then i'll go there and read again and make sure that whatever i talk to something uh then it didn't take correct then i have to find a way on how to change it so let me give you a trial on how i'm going to do plus with the accent sometimes it doesn't give a hundred percent but let's find out how i'll be able to do it and uh, okay let's give it a try okay i'm just changing my microphone headphone headset i'm going to put on the computer so that it can be able to hear well so i put a dictate here and then i will start I have been receiving a lot of questions from people with regard to scholarships, opportunities for PhD studies, period. These questions are mainly for how one person will be able to apply and secure scholarships to finance the studies in the United States. Period. Most of the questions I've been receiving are coming from my colleagues in Africa and a few people from other countries in other continents. Period. Will it be possible? Question mark. Let's try to show and explain to everyone how does it take one person to apply and get it and what takes one person to apply and not get it, period. So... I just turn it off because uh, I just want to give the flavor on how it takes. So you see, it makes it very good. You have been receiving a lot of questions from people with regards to, so I'll put S, the one I'm going to read, with, with regard to be with, rega uh, with regards to scholarship opportunities for PhD studies. These questions mainly for how, I said one, but say 1%, you see, like there are those small things. One will be able to apply in apply not in and you see so to be how it takes and secure scholarships to finance the studies in the United States. Most of questions I have been receiving are I, I put it I put it coming are coming from my colleagues in Africa and a few people from other countries in other continents. Would it be possible? And I say question mark. So you see, it gives you almost so. There are a few things like now I know, like you want to say, what does it take one? It gives is a percentage wise. But those are the things like uh, I have to be uh, able to go back and redo it. So it helps me uh, when I'm doing to have opportunity to rework, to read again, and to be able to. Uh, to edit my work so i'm i hope by this way i'm able to write quickly so even within if you decide you're yeah, really very serious 10 days i'll be done uh dictating all these uh more than 100 pages book so i wish all the best everyone and stay tuned for scholarship opportunities book uh for phd uh my colleagues from africa i believe this will be the opportunity for you if you're looking for scholarships to study in the united states of america thank you everyone please remember to uh check my youtube channel which is youtube.com slash ebm scholars it's me again ernest boniface macurillo and it's me bye